In Leeds, Jim Hobson's new team of policemen has now taken over the Ripper inquiry. And already they claim to have had a pile of new information from the public. But they warn women who've been going out armed with knives and sharpened steel combs that they do risk arrest for carrying offensive weapons. Tonight, one hospital in Leeds is on red alert after telephone threats that one of the nurses there would be the Ripper's 14th victim. The deep sense of fear and resentment that has built up in this Yorkshire community after five years of fruitless police inquiries into these brutal murders is hard to convey. But Martin Young has gone straight to the emotional heart of it. I came to Leeds last week to report on the sad sequence to a dreadful killing, to follow the 13th murder hunt that struggled to find the Yorkshire Ripper. The scene here at Milgarth, the main police station in Leeds, was all too familiar. The Ripper incident room, awash with statements of witnesses and reports. Policemen working all around the clock. But somehow, here in the streets of West Yorkshire, there's a feeling that all the police can do is sift through the same evidence yet again. No, there's a much stronger feeling about. It's almost tangible. It's a feeling of deep revulsion, a wall of hate directed at the psychopath who's called himself Jack the Ripper. There have been 17 attacks now, 13 of them murders. The relatives and friends of those people attacked and murdered now number literally hundreds of people. But here in Leeds, there is no one who's not touched by the hatred the Ripper has spawned. I wanted to document that feeling of loathing. So I went to see some of the relatives of the victims, expecting to be turned away. But they wanted to talk. It was all bottled up inside them. But it wasn't me they wanted to talk to. They wanted to talk directly to the Ripper himself. Mrs. Irene MacDonald. Her daughter was murdered in 1977. I just see you as a beast with no feelings and you're a coward. Why do you come up and stalk young girls, innocent girls as well? You come up from behind them, they don't have a chance. You're not a man, you're a beast. And I hate you. And I believe all the population in Leeds and everywhere hate you. Mrs. Patricia Brandsburg. Her niece was murdered in 1977. Jane was a beautiful girl. You took life from her. You destroyed her family in one way or another. Her father just deteriorated. You're not a man. You're despicable. I despise you intensely. Mrs. Olive Smelt. She was attacked in 1975. Oh, you can hit their headlines all right, but um, it's nothing to be proud of, the things that you do. And uh, I just don't know how you can sleep at night. Mr. Harry Smelt. His wife was attacked in 1975. Of all the women you've killed, I think, if you were to take a census of them all, I think, given the opportunity to do as you wish with them, I think they would rate you pretty low sexually. I think that's what it's all about. You, you, you're proving you're a man by killing them. Most men don't have to kill women to prove that they're a man. Let's talk about real crimes, organising bank robberies and so on. I think you will be really a non-runner. It has to be women, and it has to be from behind. Mr. Hayden Hiley, his daughter was murdered in 1979. You are the lowest of the low. Um, you did mention, I believe it was in your tape to the police, that you wanted to be mentioned in the Guinness Book of Records. I'll go along with that. You should be classed as the biggest coward the world has ever known. Put that in the Guinness Book of Records. Mrs. Avril Hiley. Her daughter was murdered in 1979. I think you're probably a very inadequate person, certainly physically, and probably mentally too. You're not significant at all. I don't think you can make a relationship with a woman, certainly not a live one. Possibly the only relationship you can make is with a dead one, as you've proved. Maureen Long. 
she was attacked and stabbed in 1977. Someone wants to get hold of you and do the same things to you as well. And which it might do. If they come face to face with you, you'd be better off killing yourself before someone else does it. Mrs. Beryl Leach. Her daughter was murdered in 1979. If I were you, I'd look over your shoulder. Somebody's looking for you. Many people are looking for you. And they all hate you. Mr. David Leach. His daughter was murdered in 1979. I, frankly, I just think you're an obscenity on the face of the earth. And, and, and the sooner that you're caught and put away, it can't be soon enough for me. They should lock, lock you away and throw away the key and, and forget about you for the, for the rest of your life. Well, I think the person who is harboring the Ripper is as bad as he is. I cannot understand the mentality of anyone who could cohabit it with such a loathsome creature. Well, my advice to you is this. Give him up. If you're a young woman, there's lots of life for you, lots left. If you don't give him up, you'll be despised by every woman in the country. You'll probably hate yourself, too. If you do give him up, you'll be admired by every woman, you, indeed everybody in the country. You must think a lot about him after all he has done. You must know. There must be some way you must know it is him. Just think of us mothers, how we feel about our children and how we must feel when we lose them to such a beast as him. You must give him up, surely. You must know that by now. Because maybe, maybe he can, he's going to hurt you in the end anyway. Uh, aren't you frightened of that? Why don't you go straight and give him up, go to CID, give him up, because I'm sure you won't have to fear anything. And I think you'd be a much happier woman once she knew he'd been put away. Just like a lot more women will feel when he's been caught. Every living person curses you. You can't even dig a hole for yourself because people would come and find you and drag you out. People are frightened of the deeds you do. But you are probably a very insignificant little man. You hit them from behind. Coward. I wonder who you think you are. Do you damn well think you're God or something? God give life, God taketh it away, not you. I think you are the devil itself. Well, whatever you made of that extraordinary expression of anger and resentment, Leeds Police tonight reiterated their appeal for people to come forward with information. Now, foreign news. Ian